Hey guys, it's Matt here again with BodybuildingPro.com here to do my third online video supplement review this time of a product called Zenergy by Zions. Some of you may have heard of Zenergy because it is the official energy drink of the UFC. Zenergy is marketed as a premium energy drink which is sugar free and vitamin fortified. It's sugar free as it is sweetened by sucralose and acesulfame potassium. Zenergy is not intended simply to be used in energy in a workout or training related setting as it can be used um, for energy in any variety of settings. It can be used in energy for example when you go to work, energy when you go to school, energy while you study, and of course it can be used for energy while you're training. It just isn't specifically targeted to do that and it doesn't offer any unique benefits um, for training, for example, to get a good pump. Zenergy's ingredient profile consists of 2680 milligrams of its active ingredients, which are used for energy in each 473 milliliter can. Zenergy's uh, active ingredients, i.e. its proprietary blend, consists of taurine, glucuronolactone, caffeine, guarana extract, Panax ginseng extract, as well as inositol and L-carnitine. Taurine is the most abundant free amino acid in many mammalian tissues and is a derivative of the amino acid cysteine. Glucuronolactone is a natural derivative of glucose and regulates the body's formation of glycogen. Caffeine, as we all know, is a central nervous system stimulant. As far as taste is concerned, uh, I had very low expectations upon initially sampling this product. I tried the blue palm flavored, which is pomegranate flavored, and when I noticed that it was sweetened with sucralose, I didn't expect much fun taste in this product. I don't like sucralose or artificially sweetened drinks, and I typically don't like pomegranate flavored drinks as well. So for it to be both artificially sweetened and pomegranate flavored, flavored I expected the worst. And given my expectations, it actually exceeded them. It actually didn't taste too bad. As far as a artificially sweetened pomegranate flavored drink is concerned, I think it was pretty good. Not that that says very much. It gives me, it gave me about as much energy as I would expect from 180 milligrams of caffeine, frankly. Um, the 2,000 milligrams of taurine that it contains uh, was about equal to most other energy drinks which contain that, 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 those same ingredients. It wasn't anything unusual, it wasn't anything special. So I would say that if you want to know how it would affect you, consider two, the, two, the active ingredients taurine and caffeine at those doses and what is your usual experience with it? And that's probably what you'll find in terms of the effectiveness of this product. Now I'm gonna discuss my workout using Synergy. I used it for my chest workout. I started with the bench press with 135 pounds, then went up to 185 pounds, also as a warm up. Finally did a 225 pound set for 16 and a half reps and finished with 250 pounds for eight and a half reps. After that, I did a drop set with 105 pound dumbbells Probably could have done the 110s, but uh, 105s were fine. I dropped the weight gradually from there, finishing finally with 30-pound dumbbells. My strength was nothing spectacular that day, but it was pretty good. The next day, I did a back workout using Zenergy as well, and I started with deadlifts, using 225 pounds for a warm-up, followed by 315 pounds. Finally, when I went into my work sets with 365 pounds. I had no belt and no chalk, so my grip wasn't great. But my strength was pretty good and I hadn't done deadlifts for about three months by the time I did this. I finished my deadlifts with 385 pounds for a single uh, with uh, out chalk as I said so my grip wasn't great. Next up I did chin-ups, wide grip, about 15 or 16 reps uh, using my body weight. Finally I finished my back exercise with incline dumbbell rows using 80 pound dumbbells for reps. To summarize I would say as stated in uh, the discussion of its effectiveness it was pretty average. Um, it gave me about the same boost as, the, as 180 milligrams of caffeine would in any other uh, form. If I had drank a coffee with uh, that much caffeine, I would have probably had the same effect in the gym. So it really isn't anything special at all. I didn't particularly like the taste because it was artificially sweetened, and it didn't really give me anything specific to my workout that would help me. It didn't give, give me a better pump. It didn't really do anything that it, just a, a coffee would, would do. And at $3 a can, depending on where you purchase it, I don't really know that that's worth it. So for me personally, I would not recommend this product uh, as I don't think it's particularly cost effective, I don't think it's particularly effective. But at the same time, in comparison to your average energy drinks, I would say it, it 
rates among them. It, it's not much worse, it's not much better. It's about middle of the road, which may be a little bit less than what you'd expect from a product which is endorsed by the UFC.